absolutely beautiful out here. Nobody out here. I took a chance, the campgrounds are open. I can't believe I drove right up to this point here. I can't wait to camp in this four-wheel camper tonight here. The weather is about 70 degrees. It's absolutely perfect. Just beautiful. I'm gonna go over the four-wheel camper rig real quick. This is a Ram 3500 HD with a Cummins turbo diesel. It's been uh, outfitted with AEV conversions kit. You can see it's an AEV front bumper with an LED light bar and a 16.5 Morn winch. It's got AEV wheels. And these are Yokohama Geolander MT tires. And there's 37 inches by 12 and a half and a 17 inch wheel. This Ram is outfitted with AEV's dual sport suspension kit. I believe it gives a three inch lift to the rig. AEV differential covers. It's a really nice rig. The truck has heated seats and they're vented as well. It also has a heated steering wheel. You can see the interior here. AEV headrests. Really nice setup. Oh, have an AEV snorkel. There's a storm coming in, even white caps. I tried to wait it out a little bit longer catch the sunset over here the sun's gonna set that way and I'm sure it's gonna just be red light this way maybe if the sky stays open over there but I don't think I'm gonna make it it's gonna be another hour and that storm is rolling in and you can see over there and now here comes the rain time to get out of here Time to get in the camp, get safe, get dry on the four wheel camper, and I'll see you back at camp. Here we are at camp. Nice spot. Got a little bit of sprinkling tonight, but it will be nice, warm, and toasty in this four wheel camper. And let's show you around inside. So, this is it. This is my home tonight. You can see we have storage here. This is an isotherm fridge. It has a lock here. You can see everything inside. Freezer up here. You've got uh, AC power outlets here, USB port and a 12 volt socket. This is your heater at night, which comes in handy. And down here you've got uh, different light switches. So, and the reason why it's down here low, and this is some of the experience with four-wheel campers, is so you can reach in from the inside because these are exterior light controls. This is interior, the floor here. But there's exterior lights as well. So these are the controls and you can reach in while standing outside and turn those on, which is really convenient and nice. This is a, a carbon monoxide detector. You also have a smoke detector up here. This is a fan. You've also got a vent above the bed here. And this is a two-way fan, so open it up. Variable speed. And you can also go the other way. So you can either push air in or draw air out. And you can open that fan and get really good circulation going. You've got three LED lights here that are currently on. And what's cool about these is they're dimmable. 
so you can dim them down and when you turn it off you'll keep the memory of where it was dimmed to that way you don't blow out your night vision I've got a mirror here you can see me there Dometic stove I'm gonna be using this make some eggs and bacon with two burner stove Dometic sink down here you've got this is your water pump and this is your water heater so you've not only got hot water inside there's an outdoor shower port and if you leave this on for 20 minutes you'll have hot water and you'll have warm water out there to shower with if you want this is your thermostat for the heater of course you've got storage here storage access to your water pump more storage more storage down here and then here this is your main power switch here cutoff switch and your fuse panel down here these two drawers these are access to the turnbuckles that hold the four-wheel camper in place you can see it right there there's four of them on each corner this is the cab over bed and those extra pads you see over there are actually for the bed if you want to slide it out and turn into a full king size bed you can and you can even sleep that way if you want i'm six foot and i actually fit this way down here we have a swivel table and seats here you can see this table moves all around it's really cool and under here we have storage you can see down there big storage box there and there's storage under here as well you can see it under there and what's cool is this table will actually come out and you can turn this into another sleeping space. Put a pad here, like that. And voila, you've got another sleeping area here. There's some storage up there as well. Fire extinguisher down there. This window actually opens up and the screen will slide too if you want. This is actually your escape hatch, your emergency escape hatch. What's nice is if someone's on the outside, they can just hand stuff into you through this hatch as well. And over here you have more storage as well. You've got four windows on each corner, so there's tons of ventilation. There's three layers. There's this insulative layer here, which really keeps things cozy inside at night when it's cold and then you have this this is what you see from the outside it's kind of like a waterproof canvas type material these are all velcro and then you have this clear lexan like window and now you're open to the outside and if you don't like this hanging down like this you can kind of curtain it up like so. Voila. I like to do this so you have the nice soft material over near the bed at night. Right here in the rear, you got propane tanks. This fits two of them. There's one behind this one. That's for your heat, your water heater, your heat, and your stove. I believe this is an external plug where you can plug a solar panel into this. Charge the system, but I'm not sure on that. This is access to behind the refrigerator, some venting. Up here, you've got a shore power plug-in, 30 amp. And here, Storage, there's your shore power plug. 
here. And this is the shower head that plugs in right here. You see you can turn it and adjust hot to cold. And again, turning on the water heater inside takes 20 minutes to fully warm up and you've got full hot water out here to shower with. This is your gray water port where it comes out up here. This is your water fill. So you can fill, it's got a 20 gallon tank, fresh water tank. And right here, that you can hook up to city water if you want. Just have continuous water. And then here, this is Dometic heating system. Around here in the back again, you have a latch here. This locks the door open. This is a freshwater valve to drain it, but it's also nice if you just want to rinse your hands back here. Well thought out. Up here, you have an external light, amber colored, and that's that color because bugs aren't attracted to it. You wouldn't want a LED light, white light that attracts all the bugs and then you get mosquitoes inside. So that's really well thought out. Foreo campers are built very well. I think they have like 40 years and you can really feel the experience in them. Over those 40 years, they really dialed things in. Just to show you a little bit of the functionality of the kitchen in here, I'm gonna make some coffee. I've got some grounds and a filter there. This is a coffee cup I had this morning. I like it because it's kind of insulated. Got a pot here. So we'd look down here, flick on the water pump. It's nice that it's lit, that way you know it's on. Go to the Dometic sink here. Lift up the nice faucet. Fill it up. Here. As easy as that. It's got fire. These covers that open up are really nice too because they act as a backsplash so you don't end up getting like bacon grease splatter up on your insulation here. And same with the sink as well. It's nice, Act, acts as a backsplash. Got water to a boil now, but another thing I just wanted to show you real quick is the heater and the thermostat for it. What's nice is it's conveniently located over here next to the bed so you can just reach down and adjust it at night. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's about 65 in here currently. So if I wanted to warm up in here, all I have to do is just turn this to the temp I want. And you can hear the heater running right away. And that's it, simple as that. These heaters work so well. In fact, that the first time I stayed in one of these campers was at a four-wheel camper event, and I made a rookie mistake and forgot my sleeping bag. So I had a couple of extra pairs of clothes to cover over myself and a little bit extra that was in my bag to use as a pillow. But this heater worked so well, I was fine all night, and it was in the low 30s outside. So that tells you how well this heater works. In fact, if you crank it all up, it'll get too hot in here. It's nighttime now, and just to show you the convenience of this switch panel, I can just reach around over here, flip these on. You can see the lighting side of the camper. That's what those control. Along with the interior lighting on the floor there. And there's also a vent fan behind the fridge if it gets hot. It's been great staying here at Lake Davis. Nice campground. Well, unfortunately it's time to pack up. But before I do, I wanted to show you how this roof pop-up tent collapses. And basically, you just do the opposite when you pop it up. So first off, there's these bungee cords. And these rings. You run these across. And the 
front and the rear there. So we just did the one over the bed. I also moved these pads down, these extra pads, so the bed's clear. And then you just unsnap this and pull this. And remember, there's those hydraulic shocks on the outside, which I'll show you. They kind of slow the progress down so it doesn't just fall and collapse. That's it for the front. Same thing for the rear now. I'm gonna attach this bungee cord here. Come across, bear with me. There we go. What these do is they pull in the sides, as you can see, so it doesn't get pinched when the roof comes down. And up here, you just unsnap this. this and everything collapses and then you just duck down with it a little bit and you can see there's a latch here I just kind of let it come down till it slightly rests on my shoulder boom and that is it on the inside simple as that and these are those hydraulic shocks I mentioned you see them in like when you have like an SUV hatch you know how that feels when you open it up kind of slows it opening up it holds it helps hold it open and there's some resistance when you push it closed too that's similar how these work on the camper roof so to finish up you've got six latches i'm six foot i could pretty much reach these without using a step but it's just easier for this video you just do that around to the front around. you can see when you open the door in this ram that step opens up really nice there this last one here that's it done that's the entire process and you just do the opposite of that when you're popping the roof up. It's not very difficult to pop the camper up at all.